Hi there and welcome to Joe Good's Workbench. This is a little bits and pieces episode about my CNC 3040 control box, where I will try to get all these parts into my box. My control box has an emergency stop button in the front. It only worked when the original software that came with the machine was running it via USB. I either run my machine via GRBL and the LPT port, and so the button does nothing. On the other hand, the switches that they used here are quite beefy. I will repurpose that one here for deactivating the stepper motors. The switch can do 15 amps, which is more than enough for simply placing it in the power line for the stepper driver board. That switch here will turn off the spindle motor via optic coupling. I explained how that works in my last CNC video. In case of emergency, I can quickly turn off both switches and the machine will stop. To power my Arduinos and some other stuff, I need an extra power supply unit that creates 5 volts. I use an old phone charger for that. To prepare it, I opened it up, took out the prongs and added new AC connector cables and DC wires. Then I glued it to a 3D printed bracket, which is mounted in the enclosure here. Now that I repurposed the former power switch, I need a new one. For that, I enlarged the hole where the stop button used to be by a bit to fit a small on off switch. A little 3D printed frame makes it look nicer. My new on off switch turns on and off both transformers. My Arduino Uno goes here. It will sit on a little wooden stand and I will use a sheet of 2mm polycarbonate as mounting plate. The Arduino is connected to many different components and I guess it is time to draw some schematics. Here they are. You can download them, they are linked below. This here is a carrier board that has pin breakout segments on each side. I make the carrier plate from strip board. I will use that carrier board to mount the Arduino instead of attaching it directly to the mounting plate. That allows me to use dedicated pin headers for the different functions, instead of trying to plug in everything directly. Each segment gets short cables that plug into the Arduino and pin header rows for plugging in the connecting cables. The Arduino is fixed on the board using little 3D printed standoffs. They have 3mm holes which I designed a bit undersized, so that the M3 screws are a snug fit. That makes mounting everything easier. Although, it turns out that I cannot place nuts on two of the screws, because that hole here is too close to the pin header, and that one here would touch one of the analog pins. The Arduino assembly is placed on its carrier plate using some more standoffs, and will be mounted here at the end. The Arduino Mega is larger, and I need to find a place for it close to the stepper driver board. The heatsink with the stepper board used to sit here, horizontally. I will now place it vertically and upside down. That means that the connector point inwards now, but that's fine. I add new holes to the metal case and matching M3 tapped holes to the aluminium heatsink. The Arduino Mega will be placed right behind the heatsink, attached to a small wooden carrier plate that is mounted to the bottom. That allows connecting the two PCBs with short wires that carry the pulses for the stepper drivers. Before I mount the Arduinos for good, I have to take most of the stuff out again, because I need to make some holes. In the front, I need one for the power LED, a reset button and for the display cable. Although, I'm not sure yet where they will go, 
because I think about mounting the control box vertically and upside down to my machine. Here in the back I need a hole for the USB cable of the Arduino. The 9 pin connector that I will use for the hand controller will go here and also a connector for the spindle motor and probably one for the limit switches. But all these things are future Joe's problem. In my next CNC3040 video I will make the hand controller, finally and hopefully. But that will take a while. Until then, thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe and see you next time.